Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the AWS Cognito Angular. So in the previous video, we have done with the registration and the OTP verification. Now we are going to log in with that user. So previous we have created that user and this is email is verified. So we are going to log in with that user now. So here we are logging with that user and you can see and here you can see we receive all the details like authentication and all details. Okay authentication successful right you are now logged in and you have the access the secure area hello welcome to the home page right so let's dive into the code level how we do with the login process okay so here we have the i will show you the again we have auth then we have otp verification components that is done that is the register part we have done then we have auth service i have showed you okay so let me word wrap it's already word wrap so then we are register part we have completed confirm registration completed then recent verification uh, right now we haven't done okay so we will make that one later on then we have a login screen okay so we have a username and the password okay so let's go to the login component also so here we have the lo login html first so this is the login html where we have the input fields like username and the password okay so here we are sending the username with the username and the password okay and then we have the login component dot ts where we have the user function so here we go with the angular core auth service router cognito user this is not i think we have used so username password by default blank error message default blank login if we are getting the username and the password from the user input so we are sending the login this dot or service dot login so accepting the username and the password if i go click on that one username and the password authentication details authentication data so here we have the user data username and the pool <laughs> okay then in the promise we are going to authenticate that user authenticate user authentication details on success we are ret retrieving the resolve the session on failure reject that error okay this is you can see that we authentication we are authenticating the user after this if i go just back control tab okay we, after that we will receiving the token with the payload also we will receive the token also we receive the id token also so you, whatever you want to send you can send okay then you can see that we have a log authentication successful then we are redirecting to the home screen okay and if something went go wrong then it will go to the cache block that authentication field please check your credentials <coughs> authentication field console dot error otherwise it will show that please provide the username and the password okay so this is the login screen part <coughs> any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day in the next video we are going to learn about the logout screen okay